When you're ready to load up a patch in Session Horns Pro, you're going to have to think about what you want to do with that instrument before you load up that patch. Session Horns Pro's instrument patches, the NKI files, are a little bit different than some of the other libraries that come with Contact or that you may have purchased separately. For example, if I look up Retro Machines, there's some folders in their instrument selection area, and each one of those folders has different patches for different synths. If I want something that sounds like a mini, I open that up and there's all my different mini patches. Now when I look at Session Horns Pro, I notice that there's only two NKI files. And you might say to yourself, wait a minute, there's only two patches? That doesn't seem very flexible. Well, don't worry. Within those patches, you'll be able to open up and do a lot of things. First of all, there is a folder, a subfolder in there that has the solo instruments. So if you want to open up a single brass instrument, brass sound from the Session Horns Pro, you can do that. However, there's only two NKI files of the group instruments, one that is meant to be used and triggered with key switches, and one that is meant for live performance. Whatever you are going to be doing with Session Horns Pro, it's good to pre-plan it and pick out the NKI file that's going to work for you. For now, we're going to take a look at playing uh, some of the common functions in live performance, so I'll open up the performance one. And within that NKI file, there are sub-presets. There are presets available to us. Even though they're not listed here as NKI files, you'll see there are section presets of many, many different types of horn sections. Even though they're not located as NKIs, we still have access to them, so don't worry. Next, we'll take a look at some of the common functions that are there no matter whether you're loading up the performance mode, key switching mode, or solo instrument mode.